Episode 1, Faith. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Lance Silvertooth, and welcome back. Thank you guys for tuning in. We're going to be continuing our gameplay on Wolf Among Us. If you guys saw my last video, that video was full of action. I'm talking about... Everything was flying. <laughs> Bottles, toaster, axe. Luxury apartment. Wish they wouldn't advertise that. I'm excited to see what else is going to happen. We also met three characters so far. The Toad, his child, the woodsman, and the cigarette smoking girl. Stay off the grass. That means no pottying for you, Wolf. <laughs> Who's that? Come on out. Come on out. All right. All right. Beauty. Beauty. Hello, Big B. Is the beast in this game? I wasn't expecting anyone. Cool. I know this looks a little odd, but there's an explanation, I swear. So, where are you off to? Well, I went for a walk. I don't see what's wrong with that. Didn't say there was. It's not a big deal. Just, you know, out. For a walk. That's Acting all. kind of suspicious there. Damn a little it, bit. I'm late. Please, Big B. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw Beast. me. Beast. That's you what I'm talking about. Too much as it is, and it would just make my life a Ooh. lot easier. I don't know. Just please. I promise. Sure. sure. You promise? I promise. Oh. Thank you, Big B. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. Thank you for trusting me. Really, I I appreciate Beauty appreciates your help. Baby. This apartment looks luxurious. I don't know what cigarette smoking girl was talking about. It looks nice <laughs> so far. Of course. Wake him up. Hey, you wake? Hmm, probably for the best. <laughs> Flycatcher needs to dust this guy. Flycatcher. Maybe he's our landlord. So if Beast is here, that would be so cool if me and the Beast have some kind of a, uh, you know, toe to toe. Been a while since I got here. It man. will be pretty hairy. <laughs> Get it, Harry. Seventh day in a row. He's got no friends. Dang. I got no friends. Damn thing fell off again. How much longer is this gonna go on? We need super glue. Who else lives in there? You'd think the sheriff would get a permanent listing. Hmm. I didn't show much. It would be cool to see what other fables lives in this apartment. Yeah. 
Bigby. Hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? This gotta be Beast. Oh man. So, have you? Bros before what? I. Crap. I. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious. Oh my gosh. Legend. I guess I deserve that. <laughs> oh man, so maybe our wish will come true the next time we Damn. see each other. Should have cracked a window. It's going to be hairy. <laughs> I was going to tell him, but I ran out of time. Maybe I wouldn't have. I don't know. There's a note. Let's see what's for dinner. Why do I even own this? Huff and puff. Smaller one. And a bottle of ketchup. And some ice. Damn it. There isn't even any ice in there. <laughs> wow. Tough times. Bluebeard. Bluebeard. Pennyworth. Who's Pennyworth? No, it sounds so fam familiar. Don't even oh man. That. Chinese food. Probably a bad sign. Now I'm craving for some Chinese food. <laughs> There's a pig on my, my love seat. Hey, Colin. Get up. Colin. That's funny. <sighs> oh, not again. Oh my gosh. This is funny. Uh, oh, hey, Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? Mm. I'm tired, Colin. It's been a long day. It's been nice. You can do it. <laughs> Roll his eyes. Oh, poor piggy. Why'd you have to kick him out? I love the character design. Got a smoke? I like how they added all that, you know, the design on the pig's face to make it, to make him look like more like I guess. Thanks. Human. Couple thousand more of these will be even on that house you owe me. This has got to stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. Why does he owe him the a house? The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Big B. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Come on. That's a little dramatic. That for me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh, it would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. He did blow his house down. That is hilarious. Uh, just... That was all you were saying. I'd be able to get some rest. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. Everyone hates me? So, everyone hates me. Hmm. Nah, I'm just giving you shit. I'm doing my best here. Clearly that is not true. What with the selfishness with the bourbon. 
But, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. He was the wolf. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Hey, Who the X-Men started it. A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. I was doing my job, believe it or not. Your job is to beat the shit out of fables. <laughs> Sometimes I take them to the farm. When they hit me back. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> my you goodness. Think my job is easy. You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. Ooh. That's so the attitude bad. that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Mm, not everyone. Name one. I was nice to... Um... The old girl and beauty. Uh, I don't actually know her name. Awesome. Great example. <laughs> Life Piggy. is easy, Colin friend, just... Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. Laying it out. I know us. you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Snow White? Wait, that doesn't make sense. Just give sense. me a drink, please. <laughs> Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut eye before I. Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. All right, give him. Give him a drink. Take a drink. Take a drink. <laughs> oh, man. Um, let's let's be nice. Thanks, Bigby. Hopefully, you can change your mind on us now. So Colin is one of the pigs and three little pigs, I think. And whatever that was in his fridge, it says huff and puff. That's so funny. I'll huff and puff and blow your house to the ground. I love it. All right, I'm coming. Big B. Snow. Come with me. Snow White. Snow. Snow. What? Sorry, What's going on? I'm... What is it? Where are, we, Where are going? we going? Out in front of the building. We have to get there. Hi. Hello. Good morning or evening. <laughs> Yeah. These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. What? What's going on? Sheriff's jacket. He was sleeping. He's still sleeping. I saw his foot. How do you remove his jacket? Was that his jacket? No, that was just that's just a guard. Like a regular apartment, um, apartment security, whatever. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> You 
this girl is she's not a Mundy, right? Who was wow. she? Wow. I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. She looks familiar. I can't place her though. Just a uh, girl. We didn't have a whole lot of time to chat. Oh my gosh. I'm Woodsman. He attacked her and I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything mm. yet. Just give me a second. Hmm. It's just... <laughs> terrible. Well, you're the first one that found her. realize what I was even looking at. So, who found her? I did. Hmm. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then... Wait, Grimble's jacket? Right but how is he still no sleeping? With you. Did he have his jacket no. on? Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. That looks like Beauty and Beast just we now. don't have much time before people will be coming through here. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us, for us to, to find. find. Yeah, I was gonna say. What kind of monster would do this? Something on our lip. What is? Oh, oh my gosh. It's. A ribbon with There's the ring on its end. Some kind of symbol here. Huh. I I don't recognize it. Neither do I. Strange cut. What did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp or something with magic. Yeah, it looks like a pretty clean it. cut. Not that I know anything about uh, cutting heads. <laughs> yeah, but it, it does look pretty straight through. I'm, I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. <sighs> um, what, what do you want to do next? I'm begging. Oh, yeah, He's that's a good spot. Should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. Can we go back Where inside? Are you going? No. Are we done? Not yet. Uh, no. Sorry about yet. that. All right, let's see. Let's go in this area first. Wish we can run. It's gonna walking kind of slow even when I press on the shift button shift key been here an hour maybe man I cannot believe they did her like that we literally just met her <laughs> if you guys have ever seen any Those Korean movies like this is a long. Korean style so far killing off characters like that yeah, <laughs> Somebody's jeans. 
got ripped off somehow. Or maybe the, when they were tramping out of that fence. Got some loose trash. Yep. Did they hurt themselves doing it? Yep. More blood. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, then left the trail I found earlier. Yep. That's what I was thinking. Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. Hmm. Could have opened the fence instead. <laughs> Surprised the garbage men can even find their way here. I think that's it. Uh, scrap of fabric. Uh, was the guy earlier wearing the same kind of fabric? The one that we met upstairs? What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. Man, if that was me, I would have been like, what the? We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big I would have been all do dramatic. Do you have any idea what's going on? How did this happen? Why her? Hmm. This is a message. This is like. a message. A message? I don't know, Bigby. I get complaints at the office all the time, but just what about this makes you think that? Oh, placement of the head. Whoever did this isn't exactly hiding it. The placement of the head, it's exact, purposeful. She was placed here precisely for us to find. All of us. Well, yes. I guess you're right. The killer wanted us to know what they had done. I wonder if it's to specifically towards Bigby. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. We should wait until we have more to tell him. Right now, all we know is a girl is dead. Telling Crane doesn't change that. And I've got all the motivation I need to find out who did this. That sounds reasonable, but... I don't know. I'll think about it. I just don't want him interfering. Yeah. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. Aye, aye. I'm sorry, girl. Couldn't save you. Achievement unlocked. The long goodbye. Oh, okay. So he is wearing what pants, but blind? it's cockies. Why, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I, I work here. I work and here. And what great work you do, sheriff. Hmm. That didn't feel very genuine. Fucker. What do I have to wait in line for my own place of employment? What kind of crap is that? <laughs> yes, I see. Uh, because you were the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. Who else is to blame if not you? Back off, Ichabod. It's not her fault. I don't need your help, Big B. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, says the man who is most to blame for this catastrophe. How convenient. Sheriff, what? you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. I'm not the Your one who failure killed her. to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. 
any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. Yeah, her pimp. Her... was she a... Yeah. She was worried about a money situation. Well, this is just wonderful. Not only is a fable killed, but it was a fable hooker to boot. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes, sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Goodness. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. You know what? Stop. <laughs> we'll get on it right away, sir. Almost. You were just this close. <laughs> you would have just pissed him off more. All right. Oh, I wonder if I should have named Axeman well, as a suspect better. instead. Well, I mean... I guess I should have listened to you and waited. Wasn't gonna say I told you so. You don't have to say it. It would have been better to have more to offer. Get our ducks in a row. See? Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. You get some more... Uh, what's the wine about? Wine I don't know. A massage? Probably a gift. The weird part of that is that he's actually being nice to someone. I know I bought that damn bottle. Hmm. Is... Is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Buffkin! Buffkin? Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. I thought maybe he's got the wine. <laughs> How are you today, Mr. Bigby? <laughs> I'm so tempted to pick these options. It's so Fine, funny. Buffkin. Thanks for asking. But I want to be nice. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? I'm the naturally nice. The ones with nice. all the fables in it. I'm not sure that was any more specific. Bring <clears> the <throat> first three. Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Dude, they have a mirror. Hi. They have a magic lamp. We can just get to Jenny. I'm trying to listen in what Snow is talking about. But I wanted to see who Buffkin is real quick. And um, Ichabod, I think that's his name. Hailing from the haunted town of Sleepy Hollow. I never watched Sleepy Hollow. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mayor and deputy of Fable Town for nearly 115 years, cranes a bundle of nerves and takes his job very seriously. Though that doesn't mean he always does it well. As one of Fable Town's elite, Crane is often blind to the troubles of the less well off citizens. Overall, Crane is authoritarian, cowardly, and always hiding something. Aha! Uh -huh. Buffkin is a talking winged monkey from the land of Oz! Hmm. Another one that I haven't watched in so freaking long. Now as a Fable Town's librarian, he spends his time reading and stealing the deputy mayor's booze. My boy. That's my boy. He's prone to mischief, so when something goes wrong, he assumes he'll receive the lion's share of the blame. He's helpful when he wants to be, but most of the time he'd rather be drinking. Someone who would would have fired him a long time ago, but he's the only one who can make sense of the filing system. I see. So, meaning he's my best friend yes, when it comes to drinking. 
magic lamps are pretty much just lamps after the genie's been freed. In this case, the, the genie must be must have been freed already. Worth a try. <laughs> to see if there's another one in there. Let's see what this is about. This is so interesting. I love it. Hey, magic mirror. I got a question. You ah, so cool. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. If you're able, tell me all about this fable. See, was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole. <laughs> There's no need for that. Oh. Of which fable that's so do you funny. wish to know? Uh, let's see. Start with the woodsman. Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Huh. What is he, like, stumbling down because he's still got a big freaking cut in his head? Uh, snow. Show me Snow White. She's right there. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. Mm. Show me Buffkin. This is pretty cool. Hey, put down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking. Wait, they can communicate through the mirror? Was that the same thing in the movie? I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Mm, let's show see what Buffkin, Buffkin is. It's probably going to show us the same thing. Yeah. Hey! Put down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. I would have been like, show me the lot of numbers. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. See what else is in here. Oh. Tarot cards. Jack brought them back from Appalachia. Who knows where they were before then, or what he did to get them. Strength. I guess it comes in all forms. <laughs> Is that me? <laughs> that was definitely a big B. What else is in here? The tower. Hmm. That's weird because the way that the girl is placed in there, it looks exactly like how the ci cigarette smoking girl is placed. First the wolf, so meaning me. Huh. We'll start with these. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. Beauty in happier days. And oh. her man. Beast. What happened? Funny. What happened to Tom them? And his brothers. Oh, what happened to his brothers? Did I eat them? Oh, bad dog. Bad dog, baby. I've seen this. Before. Oh yes, the ring, the ring. This symbol on the 
man's clothes. It's the same as the rings. Could be her father, mm -hmm. or husband. This has most of the emblems of the old days, and usually what family they come from. If it's in here, we'll have her name. What else is in there? Red Riding Hood. I think her name was Red. She didn't make it out. She didn't make it out because of me? What? Red Riding Hood's knight in shabby armor. The woodsman? Yep. And his axe. Maybe she didn't make it out of the farm. And there's me. Another good day. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be me. Why you look so sad? Yeah, dwarves. The less said about that, the better. The dwarves here look kind of um, evil. <laughs> I think are they going on about like the other story of the fables I don't know if you guys have heard of that but there's like much more brutal stories version of the stories I haven't seen Badger around for a while he likes That's his dope. privacy I think I wish Toad would like his a bit more <laughs> nice hat yeah Toad loves to be out Ichabod Crane. Scared Ich shitless. What's that? That's a Your boss. His finest moment. Ichabod. Hard to understand how he ended Ichabod. up running this place. Well, maybe it's time that changed. Yeah, you should step in. Or I could. That's it. Pretty cool book. Oh, great. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. Buffkin, translate. Hmm, an exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Tub. He probably wrote this in himself. Cinderella? The shoe. This looks familiar. Yes, from the Acts of the Woodsman, a druid blessing, actually. Someone blessed that thing? I only translate. What's it say about that? It says... Brickle bit in an older elvish hand. What's brickle bit? A magic word. What's it do? It makes animal shit gold. The donkey. I wonder if this is the girl. What's that? It reads Mark of the House of the Frog Prince. this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alelairo? I'll go look it up. Alelairo. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? Alelairo. Donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin. Also known as <laughs> ass skin. <laughs> I prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. Is her name Faith? The story of Donkey Skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Uh, his daughter, Faith. Oh. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey. That would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Hmm. 
That's so sad. Should I mock it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. You could tell Buffkin got so sad too. He was joking at first, but after that, after he and found out the truth. What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince he was Lawrence. like, wow, that's messed up. Oh, Faith. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than Her name we... was Faith. Yeah. So she was trying she to escape. to the husband. You think he did it? Mm, well, you have to notify him. No. But no. we also can't rule him we out. We need to let him know about his wife. Okay. Um, on the other book, it was letting us turn the pages. I wonder if this would let us turn the pages. No? I guess not. Okay. On to the next evidence, or whatever. What's in here? Did I... Oh. I think that's that. Oh, let's go. Oh, wait. I think we missed some things in here. On the other book. Let's see. Oh, that was it. Sorry. We, lo we already looked at the carrots. I wonder if there's some new information. What was that? Scratch? Oh, it, now we can see. You know what this means? Tarot is a backwards art. I wouldn't put too much stock in its wisdom, Bigby. Not when you've been so helpful. Prevision's muddy. I'm as clear as a window. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, able, blah, blah, blah about this fable. <laughs> of which fable do you wish to know? Uh, faith. Show me... Show me faith. Through powerful magic her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. These lips are sealed. Huh. It's not my choice of phrasing, Bigby. It's simply the way this has to be. Could it be the cloak? But her cloak was gone when, obviously, when we found her. But I wonder if there's some kind of a magic protecting, protecting her from being looked at. Show me Faith's father. She did the keep saying that these lips are so these lips are sealed off the suspect list. Wait, was that his father? Yeah, he's dead. He's a prince. I he's think. like he's bones Show me now. Prince Lawrence. He's dead too. Somebody murdered him. What's he been doing? What? Where Somebody murdered this? him or Where's he what? killed himself. Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? Dang. If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Uh, more, more questions. Sorry, I have to get that. Hello, Woodlands Business Office. Yes, I... He is. Hold on. Bigby. It's for you. Bigby! It's me, Tom. You there? Glamour. So, got your glamour yet? Yeah, 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 it's fine. Bigby! Shit! Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Bigby, before he... Oh, what? Hang on. Mm-hmm. 
was that about? Uh, hard to say. Something oh, going I hope he doesn't kill Toad. Toad. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. No. Whenever you're ready. Let's go to Toad's place. He doesn't deserve to die. He got caught caught up on all of this. <laughs> Nobody deserves to die. We need to help out Toad. First we like totaled totaled his the car. Who was there? Was it the woodsman? And now we're it's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help too. Well, where to first? Ooh. Ah, the game is gonna make us choose. Listen, Ron, there's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Uh, Lawrence's apartment. Toad's apartment. Toad's yeah. Like he needs help right now. We need to help our best friend. Okay. I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. Yeah, look, Lawrence looked dead anyway. Achievement unlocked. Frog to, or the frog or the prince. And we ended up going out the window and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah, looks worse in the day. Wait, wasn't it nighttime? So we walked all the way down there. Somebody up there? Till, till the morning. <laughs> ah. Uh-oh. It's about to go down. Some more ass kicking. Ah. Shit. Ah, uh, too late cuz you walked. How can he be gone so quick? He was literally right there. There was no other exit. Enough, all right. Just shut it. <laughs> Toad should probably get that fixed. All right, I think I'm gonna end it here. Actually, that was so awesome. I I love this game. I love it. I can't wait to play some more. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hopefully, I can see you guys in the next episode. I really appreciate any tips for me any comments please leave any feedback down below i'll see you guys in the next one thank you be safe and 